beautiful people of Hotep, peace. Peace to the gods of earth out there, to all the family out there. My name is Billy Shabazz, I'm your host of the Drunk Hunk, Drunk Podcast. This is episode two, I believe. No, episode, yeah, episode two. I just want to give a quick shout out to all those out there who uh, viewed the, uh, the previous podcast. And give y'all a shout out, give thanks. Don't forget to leave the um, mash up the like button, mash up the like button, mash up the like button, and don't forget to leave your comments. Uh, so that way I can get some feedback on what I could do better, improve, you know, or, what, or <clears throat> even questions that you may have. That's what's up, that's what's up. So again, I want to start off today's um, podcast with a quote. And this quote is from Fred Hampton. And he said, you can kill a revolutionary, but you can't kill a revolution. That's the deal, that's the deal, that's the deal. So anyway, I just want to, this is going to be a real brief, quick one. I'm going to keep these uh, down to at least 30 minutes, um, unless I have a, you know, big interview, and it might be a little bit longer. Uh, because, you know, when you interview people of importance, half an hour is not going to do justice. So those who can't, you know, sit down for an hour, hear some knowledge, then just break it up, you know what I'm saying? Break it up, break it up, part one, and then watch part two. Um, I wasn't really, actually, I wasn't even thinking about doing a podcast today, but my wife, my queen, you know, she was telling me, now you need to get on there and, you know, talk to the people and let them know what's going on. And I said, yeah, you know, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I just want to um, mention a few things again. Like I said, this is a community um, uh, activist space, you know what I'm saying? So, because we do a lot of stuff in the community. And we know a lot of other people that are doing stuff in the community, and we definitely want to highlight them. Um, this week, we're going to be having uh, Brother David King Jedi, uh, community activist, beautiful brother, strong black brother, African brother, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be doing his thing for a minute. He's going to talk to you about a lot of stuff. I ain't going to, I'm not going to give it away about what the deal is, uh, you know, about what he's doing. He's going to tell, he's going to tell you that for himself. Uh, so, yeah, so he'll be coming on hopefully uh, probably Thursday or Friday. So look forward to that. Also, I just want to uh, say to other people out there, you know, all my poetry lovers and poets, songwriters, storytellers, you know, every last Friday at the Holly Selassie I Learning and Community Center in Little Haiti, which is the address is 62-6301 Northwest 6th Avenue, right behind McDonald's. Um, every last Friday of every month, I host an open, uh, an open mic. <clears throat> I've been hosting the open mic there for about nine years now. It's called the Underground Railroad Conscious Culture, the People's Open Mic. So come out, check us out, you know what I'm saying? Again, we're an activist-orientated uh, uh, open mic. Um, we, uh, we deal with real issues, and you know, and yeah, we have a good time, and we laugh, and you know, and we, and, and we, and we debate each other, a healthy debate, um, because it's the only way we're gonna move forward. So we gotta, you know, continuously Keep talking to each other and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the deal. And also, I want to bring you. This is a little bit further down the road, but I just want to put the bug in your ear. Um, I'm a co. I'm a founding member of an organization called Kwanzaa 365 Live. It's based on the seven principles of the Nguzu Saba. Uh, we're trying to. This organization's primary purpose is basically to get people to live out those seven principles every day of the week. And so. Um, uh, one of the things that we're doing um, on October 23rd <clears throat> here at the House of Spirits at 15390 Northeast 6th Avenue, Miami, Florida, uh, we are going to be having a pre-Kwanzaa experience. So I want y'all to, those listening, bring your children out, bring your friends out, bring your family out, especially, especially the children, because those are the ones we are trying to reach because um, without the children, what do we have? We have nothing. So, so yeah, so we're gonna, we want the children to come out, we want to, you know, discuss with them the seven principles, we're going to be having a, uh, a Kwanzaa, um, uh, what's the word I want to use, uh, um, I wrote it down somewhere, but anyway, it's like, it's like a, it's like a, um, a challenge, the Kwanzaa challenge. Kwanzaa challenge. Basically, we're going to, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit more down the road. I'm not, I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to give it away right now. So, 
and this is for the children, um, you know, so they can, uh, like I said, again, we get familiarized, familiarize themselves with the Kwanzaa, with Kwanzaa, and then Guzu Saba, the seven principles, which is Umoja, Kujijagalia, Ujima, Ujima, Kuumba, Nia, and Imani. So those are the seven principles, and we're trying to also get people to start changing the, um, the way we look at the days of the week. We have seven days of the week, and we have seven principles. So instead of Monday, like Sunday, we start with Sunday. Sunday is Umoja, Monday is Kujijagalia, and so forth, all the way to Imani. Instead of saying Monday, so today is um, Monday, so today is Kujijagalia. So happy Kujijagalia to my peoples out there. That's what's up, that's what's up. Also, I'm going to be definitely interviewing people from across... Um, uh, the nation, um, and hopefully across the world, um, because again, the message needs to be put out, and I'm hoping that I could be one of those, that small link in that chain of those people who are struggling and putting this information out, I just wanted to be part of that, so I got on this, uh, that's why I got on this podcast, um, uh, train, you know, I myself, I'm a revolutionary poet, I've been around for a minute, uh, and uh, maybe I'll talk about a little bit about myself a little later on. But I just want to talk about the community because, like I said, you know, we got this pan pandemic going on. We got the community. Uh, a lot of us are, you know, having a hard time uh, getting food to eat, getting products. Uh, Haiti just had an earthquake, uh, which I'm very suspicious about. Uh, I believe I can't prove it. It's a conspiracy theory because that means that I don't have no proof that this was a, a, a work of harp. For those who are not familiar with HARP, it's H-A-R-R-P, and you can look that up. Is it A-A or R-R? One of those, I don't know which letter is the double letter, but look it up. HARP, HARP, look it up. It's in Alaska, and it's a, it's a weather modification um, instrument that uh, fucks with weather and shit like that, you know. And the reason I know that this is real is because Hugo Chavez, uh, may he rest in power, uh, when he was the president of uh, Venezuela, he got um, in front of the United Nations and talked about this. And Hugo Chavez ain't no fool, so I know he ain't going to come to the United Nations and, and put himself out there like that on some stuff that he doesn't know nothing about. So he did that, and um, so, you know, we have to look closely at that it's, it's, uh, that's, uh, that situation. And also, you know, for those, I, I got my camera both ways, so I'm trying to do, do both. I'm live on Facebook, so if you uh, catch me, you can catch me on Facebook too. This is straight live right here, straight, straight live. No, no script, you know. I just made some bullet points, but no script. Um, talking off the top of the dome. Um, so yes, we gotta, you know, some again. Um, we wanna uh, invite the community out to come check me. You know, say if you have any questions, you can definitely hit me up at you know at three one zero nine nine four seven seven two four. If I don't answer because I don't know the number, just leave a voicemail telling me who it is, and I will definitely call you back. Or you can just text me and let me know, hey, I heard your podcast, my name is so-and-so, and I want to I wanna holler at you. So, you know, because I don't answer phones, um, any, any numbers that I don't know. So just in case, you know, you think I ain't trying to answer the phone, just let you know that. If you, if you call and I don't answer, leave me a text or leave me a voicemail and let me know what it's, what it's about, and I will definitely, definitely, definitely call you back. Um, again, I uh, want to highlight a few other people in the organization. Uh, we got Sophia Injury, Injury Sophia. She is the um, proprietor and uh, of uh, cultural expressions out of Hollywood. Um, she's a, um, a, um, she does yoga. Uh, she's a basu, and um, so you can let me check her out. You know, say out of Hollywood, uh, cultural expressions. Just Google cult cultural expressions in Hollywood. And she'll come up. She's actually, um, she's actually the co, uh, the co, female um, chair of the Kwanzaa 365. Her, myself, basically, and a few others have put it together. Um, but she took the reins, and she's uh, doing a lot of the work. Um, she's doing some of, the, doing her, you know, part of the work that needs to be done for in Kwanzaa. Um, so I want to give a shout out to her. I also want to give a shout out to um, Bob Shango who has hosted our meetings at the House of Kuumba. Um, so we're going to give him a shout out, so like that, you know what I'm saying? And because um, we got to show love to all of, our, all of our peoples that are doing work out here. And for those people out there that are not part of an organization, um, you should become a part of an organization. If you don't like 
three uh, parts of 365, join the nation. If you don't want to join the nation, join the NAACP. If you don't want to do that, join the Republic of New Africa. If you don't want to join that, join uh, in Cobra. Um, but join something. Join something. And if you can't find uh, this is a specific um, issue that you want to deal with, a specific area that you want to be dealing with, um, then co found your own, your own organization. Just do it. Because that's what we did. You know what I'm saying? We felt the need that we wanted to uh, highlight the seven principles because it's not... You know, most of us sometimes we get locked into this just celebration, celebratory uh, aspect of Kwanzaa, uh, and that's not really wrong with that. But we have to actually live out the principles every day, every day. So one of the things that we did, we created some magnets for your refrigerator. Um, they're a little small right now. We're going to get ready to come uh, print out some bigger ones, but we do have some available. Um, and because everybody has to eat, so everybody goes into the refrigerator. So you get the magnet from the refrigerator, and every day you look at it, you know, uh, one of the principles. And, and commit them to memory, you know what I'm saying? Omoja, uh, unity, kuchi jagalia, self-determination, you know what I'm saying? Commit those um, principles to memory and try to live them out. Uh, we have to change the way we think. We have to change the way we eat. And like Pac said, we have to change the way we treat each other, you know, because uh, the reality is that... Uh, we um we 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 we're gonna be we're gonna be in a bad situation if we don't do this. You know, we're gonna be in a bad situation. We're already in a bad situation. You know, we've been in this bad situation since they snatched the first man, woman, and child out of Africa. You know, a little over 400 years ago. You know, so right now, you know, we've been working over the years. Our ancestors have been working over the years to try to get our minds right. You know, so I want to thank the ancestors. And to the most high creator creators because it's a balance it's not you know um and um, we want to give thanks to the ancestors for all the work that they did and you know because we stand on their shoulders so let's just you know like i said people out there you know let's get let's get to work let's get to um loving each other um let's get to that sacrifice and let's you know do what we can i always tell people out there you know most people can't give a hundred percent of themselves to the struggle some people give a little bit of the struggle, you know, a certain percentage of the struggle. So just pick a number, you know, if you can give 10%, 15%, but do something for the people. Because Kwame um, taught us that, Kwame Torre taught us that if you're not doing enough for the people, you're against your people. And I truly believe that. So, again, you need to be part of an organization. It's not Hollywood. You're not going to go up in there and one dude and wipe out the whole freaking squad, the whole platoon. Like, you know, nah, that's just, that's Hollywood stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take organization, and it's, um, and it's going to take struggle, and it's going to take communication, and most of all, it's going to take deep, deep, deep love for your people. A deep love for your people. You know what I'm saying? Even at the cost of your own life, if that has to be that way. Um, nobody wants to die, you know, but sometimes it has to be that way. But that's everybody's individual choice to make what they want to make. So, yeah, again, my people, uh, we appreciate the time. Um, again, here at the Grunt Podcast, again, for those who don't know, Grunt stands for Guerrilla Reconnaissance Underground News Team. Um, and again, you know, I started this because I felt that, you know, this is a good opportunity to get myself, uh, put our ideas out there, not myself, because this is not my idea, this is a collective idea, you know, because I'm also part of Incobra and I'm also a citizen of the Republic of New Africa. Uh, so... Um, that's what, that's it, that's it my people, you know, that's how we, that's how we do, so, you know, again, um, we, uh, we gotta, um, you know, make it do what it do, and, um, and I'll leave you off with a little bit of music, and, um, we'll see you hopefully in a couple of days with our first interview with Brother David King Jedi, doing some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work, and I want everybody to know about who he is and what he's doing, so, it's that time, brother. It's that time. It's that time. It's that time. It's that time to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And keep, keep hip hop alive. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. We're just keep hip hop alive. High end hip hop. High end hip hop. We're here now, people. I'm going to sign out right now to all the people out there on Facebook, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Get this message.